A World Inside Glass One day, this sliding glass door broke all by itself. Nobody was even home when it happened. The glass is tempered safety glass, so when it breaks, it breaks in hundreds of small pieces called cubes. At the focal point of this break, there is a very different pattern. It's a pair of multi-sided figures next to one another, creating a pattern that looks something like a butterfly. The reason this entire piece of glass broke can be found on the border between these two polygons, right down the middle of the butterfly. There, along the border between the two polygons, is a tiny dot. It's called a nickel sulfide inclusion. Barely visible to the human eye, that little speck broke this entire piece of glass in an instant. A nickel sulfide inclusion is an impurity that was formed in the glass when it was first created from molten sand and other powders. Over time, the nickel sulfide inclusion grew, and at some point it created so much stress that the glass literally exploded. This type of spontaneous glass breakage only occurs in tempered glass. That's because tempered glass is heated and rapidly cooled to create a permanent equilibrium of high tension and compression between layers of the glass. Tempered glass has internal pressures of at least 10,000 pounds per square inch. This makes the glass very strong, but when it breaks, the breakage is 100% and much faster than an eye blink. Looking more closely with a microscope, we find an entire world of shape and unexpected color. The shapes in the glass look like they came from the world of nature, or maybe from beneath the sea. That's interesting because glass is a man-made material that is considered to be amorphous or shapeless. It has no crystalline structure. It's a frozen soup of ingredients, yet it breaks in recognizable formation. The science of glass fractography studies the breakage of glass. When a crack first occurs, it propagates from a flaw, like the flaw created by our nickel sulfide inclusion, and then the crack surface near the flaw is often mirror smooth. It's called the mirror. As the crack picks up speed, the crack surface becomes foggy with microscopic dots. This is called the mist. The crack gains more momentum and creates more surface to dissipate its energy. These distinctive parallel grooves are called hackle and are often found where the crack breaks free at the face of the glass. All of what you've seen, this dance of destruction and energy release, takes place at over 3,000 miles per hour. And all of the intricate shapes and patterns you've seen were found on just one small surface of broken tempered glass, measuring no more than one quarter inch squared. That's it.